Hello, I am Anuj Dugal for Google Developers India News Show, bringing you the latest news and updates from Google's developer ecosystem in India. India is home to the third largest startup ecosystem in the world, and the year 2021 saw several Indian unicorns successfully list on the Indian markets, signaling a coming of age for young technology companies in the country. We are pleased to announce the sixth class of Google for Startups Accelerator India with 20 startups, which were chosen from over 700 applicants through an intensive selection process. Learn more about these 20 startups joining us for the three months program and what they will be up to by visiting the blog post. Solution Challenge 2022 is here. It's an annual competition that invites university students to develop solutions for community problems using one or more Google products or platforms. The objective is to solve one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals using Android, TensorFlow, Google Cloud, Flutter, or any of your favorite Google technologies. We recently did a virtual kickoff event, and you can participate by submitting a project with a team between January 11th to March 31st. Register now and get started with your projects. Remember, we launched Android Study Jams last year? Campus facilitators were given the opportunity to join training sessions held by experts from Google and develop Android apps solving real-world problems. We are now excited to share that more than 200 applications were submitted during this campaign. Keep a lookout for some noteworthy apps to be shared in the next news updates. Dev Library celebrates the new year by bringing in three global collaborations. The first one being with the Solutions Challenge 2022. We are on the lookout for your submissions around all the Google technologies solving 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The second is with Flutter Vikings to bring in quality Flutter submissions. And the third one is a huge surprise, which will be revealed in the upcoming news shows. Keep an eye on all the Dev Library collaborations to win exciting prizes and opportunities. Don't forget to submit your open source projects now. If you want to start your journey as an Android educator, the Virtual Faculty Symposium is the event to look out for. Registrations are now open for the February event for university faculty members. Find out how you can learn Android development, leverage the teaching resources at no cost, introduce this in your university and join the Android educator community. CBR College of Engineering is an autonomous NAC A grade institution located in Telangana. We are excited to share that this college has adopted Android with Kotlin curriculum for their engineering students and they are starting next semester. Several faculty members from the institute attended the training events organized by Google last year and some have even signed up for the Android Educator Academy. Professor A. Sitharam Nagesh shares that they have conducted intensive market research and analysis on the benefits of learning Kotlin, which has helped them to understand the high demand of Kotlin developers and how this will also help their students find niche jobs and build their careers in a more favorable path across the market. What are you waiting for? Register for next month's Virtual Faculty Symposium now. That's all folks for today. Make sure to check out the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share and stay safe. I am Anuj Dugal for Google Developers India News Show. Thanks for watching and we will see you next month.